Welcome to part 3 of the ranking, make sure you've seen parts 1 and 2 first, let's get straight into part 3. Number 7, I start over. So this is our show's pilot obviously and it's always difficult to place these pilots because it has so much information and it's such an important episode because it introduces the show to us and what the landscape's going to look like for the modern iCarly but I think it did what it needed to do for the most part although I think it's very noticeable that the chemistry between the actors isn't quite there yet the production's still getting there they haven't quite figured out what they're gonna do but it was great seeing Spencer screaming Carly screaming baby Spencer back a heartfelt moment between Carly and Freddie there's a lot of great moments in this episode and for the most part it sets up for the rest of the show and it gives us the vibe and all that and yeah, uh, I don't have too many negative things to say, although I think it would have been great to see more of kind of uh, what happened in between, how Carly came back from Italy, just more details generally. But overall, it was a good pilot. Number six, I love Gwen. I think if you haven't noticed by now, I really like episodes which focus on our characters and have kind of heartfelt uh, character development. And this is probably the most important episode for Millicent as a character. It kind of solidifies her place in the show for me. Seeing Freddy's ex-lover come back and Millicent wanting her parents to get back together. I think it's just a perfect narrative and, uh, a, a, you know, a qualitative one. It's not silly and goofy. It's a real kind of real world issue that they cover. And I think it's done very well here. It was also interesting to see how Carly was also trying to get them back together. Although, you know, the whole story with what's happening between Carly and Freddy keeps evolving. All these little details I think are very important to take note of. Lastly, I'll mention that I think one of the reasons why this episode was so impactful as well is because all of our characters came together on the same narrative more or less. I think those are very effective episodes when they all come together. Number five, I throw a flawless murder mystery party. Now, cracking into our top five, you know, these are the big hitters. We have our last episode we've seen, our season two finale, where we are left with the cliffhanger of Freddy and Carly kind of looking at each other like, you know, are we a thing? Are we not a thing? And this whole episode is just beautiful seeing how, you know, Freddy and Pearl are together, but you see throughout the whole episode that Carly and Freddy are perfect for each other. And I think that creates a very interesting and kind of nervous dynamic, which is really exciting for a finale like this. Alongside this, we get some closure on the whole shipping Harper and Spencer. Uh, it's funny how they matched each other without even knowing. Uh, they're both quite superficial on dating apps. This episode also has great theming. I love the whole murder mystery party in the 70s or was it 80s? I can't remember, but it's just it was just a great looking episode. A great story for an episode and a great cliffhanger to keep us excited for the next season. Overall, just a very entertaining episode full of everything I like, a little bit of entertainment, a little bit of heartfelt character development, and everything in between. Number four, iRobot Wedding. Of all character reintroductions, there was none that I was more excited for than Neville. Neville is my favorite kind of quote-unquote villain from the iCarly universe, and seeing him reprise his role and do such a good job at it just got me so excited, and I'm still thinking of the first time I saw that episode, and I'm just super excited about it. That's how you know it's a good episode. And the small things in this episode, like Carly thinking that Neville's future wife was a robot, or Neville trying to trap Carly like the old days, all these little things just made this episode for me. But, you know, overall... Over everything else, just seeing Neville come back for one last episode was just amazing. I'll never forget this episode. Definitely worthy of a top four spot. Number three, I guess everyone just hates me now. This was an episode I didn't have super high expectations for, but when it came out and when I first saw it, I was like, they did the whole cruddy thing and they did it 110%. And it maybe has my favorite scene of the whole show where we have Carly asking Freddy if this is making any of his old feelings resurface. And we get a, just a really intense moment between the two of them. It was just really good. We also get our kind of resolution from season one. We get Wes and Bo kind of written off. And, you know, apart from the story stuff, we also have just a very funny episode. Like we have Spencer literally throwing a funeral for Freddy's album, uh, no, sorry, uh, app launch party, which is just comedic genius. Overall, just an action-packed episode which sets up our season better than ever. It's just a great setup episode for the rest of the season. Number two, 
I take a girl's trip. So in the original show, we had five main characters. We had Carly, Freddy, Sam, Spencer, and Gibby. And what we have left now is three of them, Spencer, Freddy, and Carly. And I think this show is at its absolute best when it's using their original main characters, you know, in character developmental ways or when they're interacting by each other just themselves, right? And this episode is just a goldmine for that. We have the most important relationship in all of iCarly, original and revival, which is Freddy and Carly, in my opinion. And we have this, if I said the last episode went 110% on credit, this one goes 300%. Like, it's it's just a credit dream, right? So, I I think this episode also admits that there is something there between Carly and Freddy, which I think is really important. But overall, it's just a very funny, uh, exciting episode because you don't know what's going to happen. I'm just thinking of the first time I watched it and just being so excited about it. And yeah, I think this definitely was the most fun my favorite episode from season one, uh, just for those reasons of my favorite moments on the show have been just between Carly and Freddy, which I think is just the core of what iCarly is. Number one, I object Lubert. This is by far my favorite episode of the revival for so many reasons. This episode is maybe the only episode that makes me feel like I'm sitting back in 2010 enjoying an episode of the original iCarly series. All these old characters coming back, we get a mention of uh, Gibby, we have Chuck come back, we have Guppy, we have the best uh, revisited character, Lubert, putting on the display of his lifetime. The actor did an amazing job. This was just A, the best feeling, the best vibe uh, episode. It was the most entertaining episode. The court case was perfect. I love the ending of the episode where... There was also a moral story that Carly was abusing Lubert in a certain way, and she was in the wrong. We have Lubert go crazy. We have mysteries regarding his warts. We have Spencer being an actual lawyer like he always joked about. Just so much about this episode I love, and it's just ultimate fan service. If you're a fan of the original like Carly, you will 100% always love this episode. It's just... I, I don't have anything bad to say. I've never been more entertained uh, in this show than I have been watching this episode. And it did me the pleasure of also kind of feeling like I was sitting back when I was a little kid watching at Curly back in the day. So, yeah, best episode ever of the revival for sure. No doubt in my mind. And the only complaint I have about this episode is that it didn't go on longer. That was my ranking of the 23 episodes of The Revival we've seen so far. Hopefully we get a renewal for Season 3 soon. And otherwise, drop your opinions, uh, your own ranking in the comments below. And obviously, please subscribe if you enjoy the videos. It means a lot. But I'll see you guys very soon with another video.